everybody Chris here so we had a dump in the crypto markets overnight and early this morning with both Bitcoin and Dogecoin dropping below key levels we're going to explore all that in this video please be sure to subscribe to my channel hit that little notification bell too you can be notified when my new videos come out as well as when I do live streams I'll be live again Wednesday starting sometime between four and five o'clock to follow up on the day's trading today so please be sure to tune in see what is going on and how we can ride through these retraces that's right they are just retraces we're still in an overall much larger bull market still but a lot of negative sentiment out there so let's go ahead let's take a look at the news and the charts and I'll show you what I'm looking at and this is the current Dogecoin chart as I'm recording this and it's a drop below 12 cents so we're at 11.88 cents and Bitcoin had dropped below 60k yes came all the way down to 59.6 here before coming back up so Bitcoin recovering a little bit more than Doge and most altcoins on this most recent drop of course last night we had the first drop down after Dogecoin was resettling back around that magnet at 12 and a half cents and then drop so why why the drops what's going on with this well I mean the first thing is liquidations right yes liquidations we had big liquidations last night both Bitcoin and Ethereum Bitcoin dropped down to 61.3 took out a 2.8 million dollar leveraged long ETH down to 33.98 took out a 2.98 million dollar leveraged long and then this morning multi-million dollar leveraged longs taken out Bitcoin the last one at 60,200 and ETH at 3307 these are these are just targets they're just big targets out there for the market makers and the exchanges to drop prices down in order to liquidate these leveraged longs over 24 hours we've had 46 million dollars of Bitcoin 42 million dollars in ETH leveraged traders liquidated this is the money that they do not want you to win guys stop the leverage trading stop all of this huge leverage trading these DGENs with these million dollar bets thinking that that's easy money and it's not they know what you're doing even on Doge we had 1.65 million dollars in doge liquidated in longs liquidated so bitcoin price dips below 60k more than eight million dollars in longs liquidated and that was just this morning as we saw it was much more over the past 24 hours so Decrypt says, hey, U.S. rate cut soon. Unlikely, Fed Chair Powell said if rates are cut too soon, it might undo the good work we've done to bring down inflation. Those were comments that Powell made yesterday. Of course, if you've been watching me, you know that I've been saying for months now that September would be the first chance for a rate cut in the United States. So this is not new and we're going to go into F FOMC at the end of this month and there's going to be no rate cut and everyone's going to get all upset. And I'm just like, guys, look what's going on. What's what's going on? It's just, it's, it's not. So, so we have these derivative traders and uh, futures traders that are betting on the whole crypto market to turn around and go back up and they're up they and, and they are doing leverage long trading we have shorts as well the shorts are going to get wiped out soon we know that's going to come we also have Mount Gox you know and that's just because this FUD that's hanging out there on Mount Gox and when are those Bitcoins actually going to get transfer transferred into the wallets of the holders and are the holders really going to sell? That's 14,000 Bitcoin that could start making its way back into the hands of early adopters who've been waiting a decade for their Bitcoin. The average price of, bit, of the Bitcoin, what I heard, was like $700. <laughs> 
It's like seven hundred dollar average price of this fourteen thousand Bitcoin. So these people have been forced to hold. Of course, they're not getting all of the Bitcoin back that they had. It's just a portion of it, but still, from seven hundred dollars to almost seventy thousand dollars of Bitcoin, that's a that's a one hundred x. They're going to be taking profits. It's just going to happen with with the Mount Gox. So. So we start with that and then we've got like why is bitcoin down and the downturn coincided also with the first net outflow from bitcoin spot etfs in nearly a week so we had like five consecutive days where the inflows were more than the outflows but we did have grayscale bitcoin trust this gbtc with a big single day outflow yesterday so that put a hamper on the market uh certainly um, Ethereum down, Solana down, and Doge, each experiencing over 4% declines, mirroring Bitcoin's downward trajectory. So, so we have, we have the Mt. Gox, and we also have, uh, Germany is selling, and it looks like they're dumping a lot of Bitcoin on exchanges using spot, and that's just, that's just pulling pulling Bitcoin down, which pulls the whole market down. So we also have this CME gap that Dan Crypto Trades looked at. And what this is, is this is again futures trading and that this futures trading with uh, CME ends at four o'clock and then doesn't start up again until the next morning. And when it starts up again and there's a, and there's a huge gap in the price, when it starts up again, that's the gap. And as, and this is on Bitcoin, as Bitcoin trades back down, that gap gets smaller and smaller and smaller till eventually it fills the rest of it. Now, this doesn't always happen, but this is just one of those things that the TA guys point to and says, well, they got to fill that gap, bring the price all the way down, fill the gap, and then it can move up. And so that is now completely filled. In fact, Bitcoin actually dropped even lower below 60k uh, this morning uh, briefly so that's all been filled so you can't blame the CME gap anymore as any big FUD uh, hanging out there so no major gaps in nearby proximity as we speak so so there's that and uh, gel has been looking at this downward uh, resistance line that Bitcoin broke out of the other day came up above and then is coming back and retesting that line before moving on up. So that makes sense, right? We've seen that pattern happen a lot of times. So Bitcoin retesting recent downtrend line from above, hold here, and we can give 65,000 another go. Uh, so Vishan says, be careful, be cautious what happens to support when it's always tapped, it breaks down hard and fast. Somebody saying, well, next stop to 53K, higher low failed, 44K. I mean, there's a lot of negativity out there. And a lot of people think all these prices are going to go much lower. And I see it with you Dogecoin guys too. Still saying 10 cent, 8 cent, 7 cent Doge. We'll see. We will see. Tighten the crypto, same thing. A descending channel with a breakout. And then a retest. Is this indeed the retest? And then this is going to go turn around and go back up to 65K and retest that 65K line with that breakout and retest on the very typical trading pattern that we see with a descending channel. Dark says, bro, you are too much perma bullish. BTC is weak. Be, be realistic, bro. The Titan says, look, I'm the most realistic in here. Maybe wait for key levels to break to the downside. Only cry babies out there. Same past week, key level was supposed to break. Guess what? It held. At least people should wait for a clear breakout and a confirmation. And that's what I say too. And, and this isn't anything different than what I was talking about on Dogecoin. If you looked at my, uh, my, my video last weekend, I made for the price prediction for Dogecoin for the month of July, I predicted a pullback. This is the line that I drew on that on, on in that video. I predicted a pullback coming back down 
into the, the mid 11th cent range. Now it's happening a little sooner than this, a few, just a few days sooner, but this is what I was looking at, the weakness in the market. I saw that dip coming. It's just happening a little sooner. So it's not, it's not completely out of the realm. People say, no, Chris, you're way too conservative. And I'm just like, guys, we're in the middle of this summer. Interest is down. There's pessimistic, there's FUD out there. So we're not going up you know, much higher anytime soon right now. So this is where we are. Dogecoin, price loses its ground in the market. Why is recovery less likely right now? now I mean, and this is what we have, right? It's just, it's just coming down and having a hard time making huge runs at this point. So what's limiting Dogecoin's growth? Well, right now, a lot of the meme investing is all in these Solana meme coins. So Dogecoin is having a lot of competition on that whole meme front. Typically we would see all that money flowing into Doge and it's not, it's chasing these other memes. So that is a big part of it. And then all the other things we just talked about. And there's nothing really spectacular going on about Doge right now. We're waiting for X payments, you know, and, and these other things to happen with Doge. And it's just not happening yet. So we wait and we look at the TA and we look at the relative strength index and the MACD crossovers and the, you know, the buy signals. And yes, we've had buy signals. And now it's just, it's down a little further. And so the buy signals that you get now are even a little better, right? You're getting a little more Doge as Doge is in the upper 11s now instead of the low 12s before eventually what's going to be a massive price breakout. Yeah, Javon is saying, look, Dogecoin and its next leg up towards the current breakout target to 65 cents, that's still the target, may be a matter of time. Prices could be preparing here for the break above. As of current, with a price breakout holding a roughly 400% run to reach this target can be loading. And this is, I mean, this is zooming out and looking at the big picture. This, this is the move that is out there. And we just need to wait. <laughs> it is, it's hard to be patient. It's hard to watch the Doge price come down and not be a little shaken out. We do have some who are selling, yes. This kind of double move does shake holders out of their positions. Some are swing trading and thinking they can pick up some more Doge at a lower price. Not always guaranteed. You're always taking a chance with that. But right now there is a lot of negativity in the market. So that's where we are right now, guys. Join on the live stream. Again, we'll be starting sometime between 4 and 5 o'clock. So make sure you've got notifications on. Leave a comment below. How low do you think Dogecoin may drop? on this current dip here. And are you buying any? Or are you waiting for some key lower target price? Let me know. Give the video a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the support. We'll see you next time.